The government passed its first budget in the wee hours of Thursday morning. Finance Minister Winston Jordan presented the $181 billion appropriation bill just almost after eight days of debates and revision of the estimates. The government presented its $221 billion budget on August 10, where it announced an increase in old-age pension, removal of value-added tax on several food items, and monies for the Alien Sugar Company. The National Assembly dedicated long hours to the revision of estimates that included several new ministries. Last night, the ministries of Public Infrastructure, Education, and Public Security were among the last to be reviewed. Under the Public Security Ministry, the Guyana Police Force would get some $193 million to buy vehicles, trucks, bicycles, outboard engines, and boats. It requires a number of land and water transport vehicles for purposes of enhancing response time and also having a deterring effect where the crimes are mapped as very dense. Public Security Minister Kemra Dramjatan on Wednesday night when the estimates for that ministry were reviewed. Former Home Affairs Minister Clement Rohi was interested in the police floating base and air wing. When does the Ghana police force anticipate having its air wing established? The air wing, Mr. Chairman, will not be established this year. Definitely not with that. And the MV Tamakai is in the Esquibo. It's a prime belt. Sorry, it is a prime belt present. It hasn't gone as yet? No, it has not. Could the Honorable Minister inform this Honorable House what is the status of the outfitting of this floating base and why is the Guyana Defence Force taking so long to outfit this floating base? The operationalization, Mr. Chairman, of the Tamikai floating bridge, floating base, needs several seven million dollars more to make um, efficient for purposes of getting it to where it is supposed to be. Last night, too, the House heard that some four to seven million dollars has been budgeted for works at the Georgetown prison. Could the Honourable Minister inform this House? whether additional CCTV cameras are being procured to ensure that all prison locations are covered. And not only that the stations are covered by CCTV cameras, Mr. Chairman, but there's off-site viewing of the locations. The answer to that is yes, and a sum of $21 million is given to that. All locations are covered. Among the allocations reviewed are $4 to $5 million that would give the Guyana Fire Service four more water tenders and $10 million for the Citizen Security Program. For Prime News, Nazima Ragabir.